Good morning, Alex. I'm glad you're here today. I wanted to talk to you about something important, improving your English speaking skills. Good morning, Miss Anderson. Yes, I'm really eager to enhance my English speaking abilities. It's something I've been struggling with lately. Don't worry, Alex. It's completely normal to face challenges when learning a new language. The key is to practice regularly and utilize various techniques to improve your skills. That sounds reasonable. Could you give me some tips on how to do that? Of course. First and foremost, immerse yourself in the language as much as possible. Surround yourself with English content like books, movies, and podcasts. This exposure will help you get accustomed to the language's rhythm and nuances. That makes sense. I'll definitely try to incorporate more English media into my daily routine. Great. Additionally, don't hesitate to engage in conversations with native speakers or classmates who are fluent in English. Practice speaking whenever you get the chance, whether it's asking questions in class or striking up conversations with friends. I'll make sure to participate more actively in discussions and seek out opportunities to converse in English. Excellent initiative, Alex. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Learning from them is part of the process. Also, consider joining language exchange groups or finding a language partner to practice speaking with regularly. That sounds like a proactive approach. I'll look into finding a language partner to practice with outside of class. Wonderful. Another effective method is to record yourself speaking and then listen to the recordings. This will help you identify areas for improvement and track your progress over time. That's a great idea. I never thought about recording myself before. I'll give it a try and see how it helps. Additionally, focus on building your vocabulary and mastering common phrases and expressions. The more words you know, the easier it will be to express yourself fluently in English. I'll start incorporating vocabulary building exercises into my study routine. Are there any specific resources you recommend for that? Absolutely. There are numerous online resources and mobile apps available for vocabulary building, such as flashcard apps, language learning websites, and online courses. Find what works best for you and make it a habit to learn new words regularly. I'll explore those options and find a method that suits my learning style. Thank you for the recommendation. You're welcome, Alex. Lastly, practice speaking English with confidence. Believe in your abilities and don't be afraid to express yourself. The more you practice, the more confident you'll become. Confidence has always been a bit of a challenge for me, but I'll work on building it up. Thank you for the encouragement, Miss Anderson. You're welcome, Alex. Just remember, improving your English speaking skills is a gradual process that requires patience and dedication. Keep practicing, stay motivated, and you'll see progress over time. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for your guidance, Miss Anderson. I'm feeling much more motivated and confident about improving my English speaking skills now. I'm glad to hear that, Alex. If you ever need any additional support or guidance, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm here to help you succeed. Alex, before we conclude, let's set some specific goals to help you track your progress. Setting achievable goals can provide you with a clear direction and motivation to keep moving forward. That sounds like a good idea, Miss Anderson. What kind of goals should I set? Well, let's start with something measurable, like the number of hours you dedicate to practicing English each week. How many hours do you think you can commit to? I think I can dedicate at least three hours a week to practicing English outside of class. That's a good start, Alex. Let's make it a goal to consistently spend three hours a week on activities specifically aimed at improving your English speaking skills, whether it's watching English movies, participating in language exchange sessions, or practicing with a language partner. Okay, 
I'll make sure to schedule time for English practice each week and stick to it. Excellent. Now let's set a goal related to vocabulary building. How many new words do you think you can learn each week? Maybe around 10 new words a week. That's reasonable. Let's aim to learn and incorporate 10 new words into your vocabulary each week. Remember to review them regularly to ensure retention. Got it. I'll start keeping track of the new words I learn and review them frequently. Lastly, let's set a goal related to speaking confidence. How about setting a goal to actively participate in at least one English conversation per week, whether it's in class, with a language partner, or in a language exchange group? That sounds like a good idea. I'll make it a goal to engage in at least one English conversation every week to build my confidence. Wonderful. Alex, remember these goals are meant to be achievable and flexible. If you find that you need to adjust them along the way, that's perfectly fine. The important thing is to stay consistent and keep moving forward. Thank you, Miss Anderson, for helping me set these goals. I feel much more confident now that I have a clear plan in place. You're welcome, Alex. I'm here to support you every step of the way. If you ever need guidance or encouragement, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I will, Miss Anderson. Thank you again for all your help. Of course, Alex. Now let's get started on achieving those goals. I have no doubt that with your dedication and hard work, you'll see significant improvement in your English speaking skills. Good morning, class. Today, we're going to discuss some strategies for improving our English learning skills. Sarah, could you share with us some of the methods you've been using to enhance your English proficiency? Good morning, Mr. Smith. Sure, I've been trying a few things lately. Firstly, I've been reading a lot more in English. I find that it helps me to learn new words and phrases in context. That's excellent, Sarah. Reading is indeed one of the most effective ways to expand your vocabulary and improve your comprehension skills. What kind of material have you been reading? I've been reading a variety of things, from novels to newspapers and online articles. I also enjoy reading short stories and essays. Fantastic! Diversifying your reading materials is a great approach. It exposes you to different styles of writing and vocabulary usage. Now let's talk about another important aspect of language learning. Speaking. Sarah. How do you practice your speaking skills? Well, I try to speak in English as much as possible, even outside of the classroom. I have conversations with my friends who are also learning English, and I participate in language exchange programs where I can practice speaking with native speakers. That's wonderful, Sarah. Engaging in conversations is crucial for improving fluency and pronunciation. Remember, don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's all part of the learning process. Now let's move on to another skill, listening. How do you work on improving your listening skills, Sarah? I listen to English podcasts and watch movies and TV shows in English with subtitles. I find that this helps me get accustomed to different accents and colloquial expressions. Excellent. Immersing yourself in English audio and video content is an effective way to train your ear to understand spoken English better. Now. Let's discuss writing. Sarah, how do you practice your writing skills? I try to write something in English every day, whether it's journaling about my day, writing essays, or even just composing emails. I also ask for feedback from my teachers and peers to help me improve. That's fantastic, Sarah. Regular writing practice is essential for honing your grammar, vocabulary, and overall communication skills. Seeking feedback is also a great way to identify areas for improvement. Now let's talk about some additional strategies for enhancing your English learning experience. Sure, I'm all ears. One method that I highly recommend is using flashcards to memorize vocabulary words. You can create your own flashcards or use online platforms like Quizlet, which offer pre-made flashcard sets on various topics. That sounds like a useful technique. I'll definitely give it a try. Another strategy is to engage with English language media, such as newspapers, magazines, and websites. This will not only expose you to current events and cultural trends, 
but also help you improve your reading comprehension skills. I'll make sure to incorporate more English media into my daily routine. Lastly, I encourage you to set specific goals for your English learning journey. Whether it's mastering a certain number of vocabulary words per week or achieving a certain level of proficiency by a certain date, having clear objectives will help keep you motivated and focused. That's great advice, Mr. Smith. I'll set some goals for myself right away. Wonderful, Sarah. Remember, improving your English skills is a gradual process that requires dedication and perseverance. Keep practicing regularly and don't hesitate to ask for help whenever you need it. Together, we'll continue to make progress on our language learning journey. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I feel much more confident now about improving my English skills. I'm excited to implement these strategies and see the results. You're welcome, Sarah. I'm glad to hear that. If you ever have any questions or need assistance along the way, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Now let's get started on today's lesson. Absolutely, let's dive into today's lesson. Today we'll focus on grammar fundamentals, specifically verb tenses. Sounds good, Mr. Smith. Verb tenses have always been a bit challenging for me, but I'm eager to learn. That's completely understandable, Sarah. Verb tenses can be tricky, but with practice, you'll get the hang of it. Let's start by reviewing the basic tenses, present, past, and future. Can you give me an example of each? Sure. For the present tense, I could say, I walk to school every day. For the past tense, yesterday I walked to school. And for the future tense, tomorrow I will walk to school. Excellent examples, Sarah. Now let's delve a bit deeper into each tense and discuss how they're formed and when they're used. Okay, sounds good. The present tense is used to talk about actions that are happening now, habitual actions, or general truths. It's formed by adding s or as to the base form of the verb for third-person singular subjects, like he, she, or it. Can you give me an example of a habitual action? Sure, how about, she eats breakfast every morning. Perfect. Now let's move on to the past tense. This tense is used to talk about actions that happened in the past. Regular verbs form the past tense by adding ed to the base form of the verb. Can you give me an example? They walked to the park yesterday. Great job, Sarah. Now let's discuss the future tense. This tense is used to talk about actions that will happen in the future. It's often formed using will or shall plus the base form of the verb. Can you give me an example? We will visit our grandparents next weekend. Wonderful. You've got a good grasp of the basic verb tenses. Now let's practice using them in sentences. I'll give you a sentence, and you tell me which tense it is and rewrite it in a different tense. Okay, sounds like a challenge. Here's the sentence. She is reading a book. Which tense is it, and can you rewrite it in the past tense? The original sentence is in the present continuous tense. I would rewrite it as, she was reading a book. Excellent. Now let's try another one. They will go to the beach tomorrow. Which tense is it, and can you rewrite it in the present tense? The original sentence is in the future tense. I would rewrite it as, they go to the beach tomorrow. Excellent. Now let's try another one. They will go to the beach tomorrow. Which tense is it, and can you rewrite it in the present tense? The original sentence is in the future tense. I would rewrite it as, they go to the beach tomorrow. Perfect, Sarah. You're doing a fantastic job. Practicing sentences like these will help reinforce your understanding of verb tenses. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I'm really starting to feel more confident with verb tenses now. Perfect, Sarah. You're doing a fantastic job. Practicing sentences like these will help reinforce your understanding of verb tenses. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I'm really starting to feel more confident with verb tenses now. I'm glad to hear that, Sarah. Remember, practice makes perfect.
Keep practicing your English skills and you'll continue to improve. If you ever have any questions or need extra help, don't hesitate to ask. I will, Mr. Smith. Thank you for your guidance and support. I'm glad to hear that, Sarah. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep practicing your English skills and you'll continue to improve. If you ever have any questions or need extra help, don't hesitate to ask. I will, Mr. Smith. Thank you for your guidance and support. You're welcome, Sarah. Now let's continue with our lesson. Next, we'll explore some more advanced grammar concepts, such as conditional sentences and reported speech. Sounds challenging, but I'm up for it. You're welcome, Sarah. Now let's continue with our lesson. Next, we'll explore some more advanced grammar concepts, such as conditional sentences and reported speech. Sounds challenging, but I'm up for it. That's the spirit, Sarah. Let's dive in. Hey, how's it going? Not bad, just trying to survive the work week. How about you? Hey, how's it going? Not bad, just trying to survive the work week. How about you? Same here. Anything exciting happening lately? Well, I started a new hobby, learning to play the guitar. It's challenging, but I enjoy it. Same here. Anything exciting happening lately? Well, I started a new hobby, learning to play the guitar. It's challenging, but I enjoy it. That sounds cool. I've been meaning to pick up a new hobby, too. Any recommendations? How about photography? It's a great way to capture memories and get creative. That sounds cool. I've been meaning to pick up a new hobby, too. Any recommendations? How about photography? It's a great way to capture memories and get creative. Interesting idea. I'll look into it. By the way, have you watched any good movies or shows recently? Oh, I just finished a gripping mystery series. It kept me on the edge of my seat. What about you? Interesting idea. I'll look into it. By the way, have you watched any good movies or shows recently? Oh, I just finished a gripping mystery series. It kept me on the edge of my seat. What about you? I've been revisiting some classic movies. You know, nostalgic vibes. Do you have a favorite genre? I'm into sci-fi and fantasy. Love the escapism. Speaking of which, have you read any good books lately? I've been revisiting some classic movies. You know, nostalgic vibes. Do you have a favorite genre? I'm into sci-fi and fantasy. Love the escapism. Speaking of which, have you read any good books lately? Not recently, but I'm open to suggestions. What's on your reading list? I've been hooked on this fantasy series. The world building is phenomenal. If you like fiction, you might enjoy it. Not recently, but I'm open to suggestions. What's on your reading list? I've been hooked on this fantasy series. The world building is phenomenal. If you like fiction, you might enjoy it. Sounds intriguing. I'll check it out. By the way, how's your family doing? They're good. Thanks for asking. We're planning a little weekend getaway soon. How about your family? Sounds intriguing. I'll check it out. By the way, how's your family doing? They're good. Thanks for asking. We're planning a little weekend getaway soon. How about your family? Everyone's doing well. It's been too long since we had a family gathering. Let's plan something soon. Definitely. Maybe a barbecue or a game night. What do you think? Everyone's doing well. It's been too long since we had a family gathering. Let's plan something soon. Definitely. Maybe a barbecue or a game night. What do you think? Both sound great. We can coordinate and make it happen. Awesome. It's always nice to catch up. Anything else new in your life? Both sound great. We can coordinate and make it happen. Awesome. It's always nice to catch up. Anything else new in your life? Not much, just the usual grind, but hey, that's life, right? True that. Anyway, I should get going. Let's catch up soon. Not much, just the usual grind, but hey, that's life, right? True that. Anyway, I should get going. Let's catch up soon. Absolutely. Take care and talk to you later. Absolutely. Take care and talk to you later.